Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I am your intuitive reader and healer here today to illuminate what the Most High God wants to share with us. I hope that you all are having a blessed and positive day. Keep in mind that this is a general message, so it may not apply to everyone. However, if you were drawn to this video, there is something that your spirit team would like for you to know today. If you like the content and the vibe here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. Um, so today I'm just going to tap in and get a general energy check for the collective to see what is going on and what we need to know. So go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths. Release any tension that you're feeling in your body, your mind. Just allow those thoughts to roll out as you exhale. One more deep breath. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors of the Highest White Light, Most High God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your guidance, your protection, and peace. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what it is that we need to know at this time. Allow there to be none of me and all of you. And please allow the message to come out precisely as you would have it to. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please encamp the angels around us for protection. Archangel Metatron, please be here to help us get clarity on the messages that are coming out. And Archangel Raphael, please be here to help us continue to heal on this spiritual journey. Please and thank you. All right. Spirit guides and ancestors of the highest white light, please be present with us today to reveal what we need to know. I was guided to use one of the random decks to start with to get the overall energy. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we're working with today. deck on codependency so there may be someone in your energy that is codependent or it could be you I just saw surprise surprise what I'm getting with that is that someone may pay you a surprise visit let's see we're going to tap in yeah, we got Welcome Home, but it came out in reverse. And Jezebel Spirits. Okay, so what I'm getting so far is that there is someone that you were connected to that is a codependent energy that possibly lived with you or shared the same space with you previously. This person is operating out of a Jezebel Spirit low vibrational energy you are currently disconnected from this energy investigation and shaking things up both in reverse this person may have tried to have you investigated to try to hmm, shake something up in your life the summer could be significant. Investigation is here again. So this person may be under investigation or they may be trying to have you under investigation. So let's go ahead and tap in and see. Children could be significant. What 
should we be aware of, Holy Spirit? What should we be aware of at this time? We got abundance. bothered and negative influence in the reverse so what I'm getting from this is that right now you are in a season of abundance harvest I'm, I'm hearing fall windfall of abundance the fall could also be significant but at this time you are unbothered there are a lot of codependent energies around you a lot of jezebel spirits low vibrational energies that were previously connected to you that had some type of negative influence on you in the past are trying to reconnect with you however you are unbothered at this time they may be trying different tactics such as the in investigation that we saw when we split the deck earlier they may be trying different ways to get into your energy um, we got spend time outdoors and we got why so they may want to know why you're not connected with them anymore also you may be called to spend more time outdoors to connect with your angels and ancestors I'm also hearing in addition to that these energies want you to be out and about more than you are presently you could be in hermit mode they want to have an opportunity to run into you, to connect with you, but you are unbothered, isolated, focusing on your spirit guides, yourself, your self-love. You're receiving hugs from your angels at this time. Oh my goodness, speak Holy Spirit. Yes, confirmation. They're wanting you to come out of hermit mode so that they can connect with you, get back into your energy, run into you. You are in this business owner mentality, working on creating your business, or if it's not a business, it could be projects, it could be school. Money comes to me easily. I am abundant. Confirmation, you have abundance here already. So you are unbothered, <laughs> bottom of the deck, powerful. You're a very powerful being. You've moved on from these energies. You're no longer connected to these codependent energies. You are moving ahead, moving with the most high, being obedient. You have a deep knowing. You are the high priest or the high priestess. You have a deep knowing of what these energies around you are trying to do trying to devise plans to connect with you or to get back into your energy to um, get under your skin spread negativity we got nature calls again this is this these energies trying to get you to come out of hermit mode <laughs> sitting in my room sitting up in my room in the reverse again they're really they're really unable to access you you're really closed off right now and they want you to um, to come out so that they can see you at the market or wherever you they used to see you in the community or just happen to bump into you somewhere. This This is what they're doing because they are stalking you at this time. And they're seeing that you're not making any moves. So we got about three cards out here letting you know that they're wanting you to be outdoors we got work on your chakras i was called to take this in the upright you're being called to do more uh chakra work energy cleansing align and balance your chakras you are receiving messages directly from the most high with sacrifice in the reverse this energy could have tried to sacrifice you And I'm hearing two messages from this slowly but surely. 
I feel as though you've been moving slowly, tr progressively though, working on your craft, working on your business, your projects, but the most high is saying, surely you will reach the goals that you're trying to reach. You will accomplish everything that you set in your mind to. You're already very abundant. Things are coming to you easily. You're on the right path. This energy, these codependent energies are saying they're going to keep trying. I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles in my third eye. Uh, they're going to be diligent and continue to work hard on trying to connect with you, trying to get you out of hermit mode. They're saying slowly but surely they will run into you and reconnect with you. These people are dishonest and deceitful. Seven of Swords energy. They have no good intentions for you. They really just want to bring imbalances and chaos and conflict into your life and negativity. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay. We have keep going. You are being divinely guided. Follow the yellow brick road. I'm here. <laughs> keep heading towards the most high. Great wealth is coming to you. We already saw that. That's another confirmation for you. So we had 10 days in the reverse. So I'm getting that in less than 10 days, you are going to receive some type of confirmation regarding this message or some type of communication regarding this message. It was in the reverse. So it's less than 10 days. You'll be receiving some type of confirmation. And again, the Most High is wanting you to know how powerful you are. Stand in your power, I'm hearing. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bottom of the deck. Princess to Empress, Prince to Emperor. You are leveling up. The Most High wants you to know that you are leveling, leveling up. Spring could be significant for you. One more, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Competition. These energies want to come back to get an idea of what you're doing so that they can try to compete with you. I'm hearing there is no competition. Do not worry. Keep your head focused uh, on the most high and keep going. Keep going. You're being divinely guided. If you do have any doubts, any questions in your mind, you're being called to pray, connect with your angels and ancestors, and spending time in nature in a safe place where you can go. If you have a backyard you can go to, a front yard you can go to if you don't want to be out in public places because there are people that are trying to find a way to connect with you um, or make sure you're going to some place that is safe when you're out in nature and you know get a chance to plant your feet in the grass and allow the sun to hit you and get some of that good uh, energy from the most high in the universe Okay. All right, let's get a few tarot cards and then we're going to close this out. split the deck on the four of cups I'm seeing this person this energy very discontent unhappy sad without your energy like this person but it's giving me a vibe of someone who's sitting outside somewhere waiting to see you wanting to offer you 
this empty cup. Yeah, on the other side is the Seven of Wands. So you're definitely being called to set some strong boundaries with these codependent energies. Again, Eight of Wands. So that's a confirmation in less than 10 days. With that card coming out, you're going to receive some type of communication or confirmation regarding this message. We got the tower. I'm hearing that this energy is trying to bring a tower to you before you can reach whatever this accomplishment is, this goal. I'm being told that this is Archangel Michael the King of Swords is being represented by Archangel Michael today watching over this situation again seven of wands on the bottom of the deck Archangel Michael is protecting you at this time what else Holy Spirit yeah with the nine of wands here this is being, this is you I'm seeing. You are just being very cautious. It's not necessarily a paranoid energy. It's that you are taking these extra precautions with yourself, with being in hermit mode. You're just not willing to allow any access at this time, and rightfully so, because these energies are they're like energy vampires they're desperate to connect with you they are drawn to your energy like they're really really it's like a moth to a flame i'm hearing they they just really want to connect with you someone may come in this king of cups in the upright energy loving and kind and wanting to reconcile and laying it on really thick to get you to come out you may be receiving a lot of phone calls you may be having a lot of activity on your social media from fake pages just use your discernment and be very cautious about who you're connecting with and again set those boundaries yeah page of cups they may come back with some kind of fake apology just to get back into your energy but there are some very dark things going on behind the scene. A lot of secrets that will be exposed, I'm hearing. What else, Holy Spirit? Queen of Pentacles, yeah. These people see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They see you being very successful, very secure. And they want to know what you're doing so that they can try to mimic you and compete against you and get into your energy, get into your head. Let's get a couple more, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This is the most high bringing new opportunities in for you. Yeah, great wealth is definitely destined for you. You have the abundance card out here. You have money comes to me easily. I am abundant. You have great wealth. You have ace of pentacles and queen of pentacles. So whatever it is that you're co-creating with the most high is guaranteed to be a success. What else, Holy Spirit? Wow. Queen of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles following the Ace of Pentacles. So the Queen of Wands is all about creativity, ambition, drive, um, a very magical being that is able to create anything. Whatever this is that you're working on, that you're creating, is going to be a masterpiece, I'm hearing. Is going to bring in a lot of financial abundance for you a lot of happiness too I'm seeing I'm being drawn to this sunflower you could like sunflowers you could like yellow the Emperor card also fell out so this definitely is for someone regarding a business that you're working on 
What else, Holy Spirit? What else should we be aware of? I'm getting somebody is upset. Ooh, just as I said that. Ten of Swords. Somebody that you were connected to is very upset. And they feel disrespected by your departure is what I just heard. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person betrayed you over and over and over again. Left you for dead, I'm hearing. But they're upset. They invested a lot in destroying you and you're not... You're thriving. So they're very pissed off. They know that they can't do anything to you. They don't have that access. So they want to gain access just to see what you're doing. So that they can try to beat you at whatever it is you're doing. Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You are very heavily protected by angels at this time. Yeah, this person wants to bring you... <laughs> Did you see how this card fell out of my hand? This person wants to bring this heartbreak back to you. Um, they don't want you to have this Two of Cups type of love, but you will. Let's get a couple more to close the reading, please, Holy Spirit. What is the outcome, Holy Spirit? What is the outcome? Yeah. <laughs> we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. We already had the Ten of Pentacles out here and the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Most High is saying, yes, you right now you are single, independent, working hard on your own, but you are going to be receiving a beautiful love offer very soon. business will be thriving you will be happy you will have the love that you deserve you will move be moving away some of you literally moving away relocating to a different place maybe a different state or city some of you are moving up in ranking ace of wands on the bottom of the deck yes you have this brand new beginning some of you will be moving from one job to another I'm hearing or leaving a job to start your own business let's get two more please Holy Spirit the magician in reverse falling down on this page of cups in this this uh, ten of swords this lets me know that these people are trying to send you some type of spell work that is being returned in this ten of wands yeah thank you holy spirit ten of wands with the seven of swords and the fool these people are foolishly still trying to do use deceptive tactics to get to you to burden you but this that's they're doing so foolishly because all of this energy is being returned back to them and it's coming harder than it's being sent out so <sighs> these people just don't get it but they will the most high is going to drive a lot of points home this year um it's time it's time for this to end all of this darkness all of this deception all of this evil the most high is tired most high is tired a lot of karma is being dished out at this time and it's going to continue to be that way until people take these blinders off and understand who god is and operate as they should anything else holy spirit i'm seeing the tower in my third eye right now yeah judgment the most high is calling judgment on all of these energies it's time it's a wrap you gonna learn today is what I just heard <laughs> from a, a movie line I'm not, I don't remember what it was yeah 
But that's what the Most High is saying. You're going to learn today. Divine beings are not to be messed with, not to be harmed, not to be harassed, not to be stalked. When they do that, they do so at their own demise. The tower is coming. I'm hearing the tower is coming. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels and archangels, spirit guides and ancestors. What do I need to pull next? Okay, I'm being called to give you a message from heaven to close this reading. What is the message, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Okay. Continue to grow by seeking new knowledge. We applaud your efforts. Okay, so the Most High, your angels and ancestors are letting you know. Whatever it is that you're working on, they want you to keep researching, keep studying, keep growing your craft, keep working hard. You're going to be abundant. You're co-creating. Everything is as just as it should be. You are safe. They love you. They're very proud of you. And I love you. I'm very proud of you. I want to thank you all for clicking on this video. I really hope that it helps someone and you receive some type of insights from it. If so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. And until next time, peace and blessings. I'm going to go ahead and ring this bell to return the energy to the divine. So you may want to lower the volume. Most high God, we thank you for these messages. You return this energy to the divine to be transmuted into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you. Ashe.